Groove number 10 is called Never Satisfied, and it is one of the greatest blues tunes in my mind. It's takeoff on Muddy Waters, Can't Be Satisfied, from his early chess recordings in the early 50s. We're in open G tuning for this one, and we're going to break out the slide for this awesome tune. open G tuning for this one. So from low to high, we have D, G, D, G, B, and D. The G major chord is spelled G, B, D, and we're actually just tuning the strings of the guitar, so we have an open G chord. Uh, big proponents of open G is Keith Richards from the Stones, for sure, and many, many slide tunes. Robert Johnson, uh, Sunhouse, um, Charlie Patton, all those old names you hear, open G tuning. And this is Muddy Waters, Can't Be Satisfied. He, when he played the slide, it was almost always an open G as well. Now, this tune is pretty involved, um, but it's one of the great classics. And if you hear the original, um, it's, uh, it, listen to the original on Chess Records, you can hear it. Okay, so uh, our basic idea is just a 1 4 5. It's a blues, so we're starting off on G. Our 4 chord is the D on the 5th fret, and our 5 chord. It, sorry, the, this is C on the fifth fret, and on the seventh fret we have a D chord. But the cool thing is he's not actually playing the chords; he's just playing some single notes on that, and that's what I really love about this tune. Okay, so our intro. So we've got the first note, which is sliding in. So we're really just sliding to that G chord. Okay, now that lick is a very kind of typical open G thing. I'm on my fifth string. From the second to the third fret, I'm going to slide. And I'm kind of sliding from the third fret plus, I'm moving up a little bit. And I'm hitting my open D and G strings. So finger wise without the slide. So I'm kind of sliding to the fourth fret. But that's the really great thing about the slide, is that we can get those in-between notes. We don't have to think about frets as much. So I'm not really sliding to four. I'm sliding a little shy of the fourth fret. So there's the fourth fret note, but I'm doing... It gets that cool out of uh, tune in a way, but not out of tune. It's those in-between really awesome notes between the flat third and the natural third. Once again, the flat third and natural third is the real key to this great bluesy sound. Okay, so that's the second line, that's the second half, the lower part of the line. So let's do the thing again. Okay, so he basically restates that main theme three times with a slight variation. So listen to the recording, listen to what I've tabbed out, and uh, you can see exactly what's going on. It's really just... Right, that same line each time with the fill in the back, and the, the back end. So the last one... So he's getting this, this tenth fret, which is the F. Now, here... On the middle two strings, the D and the G, I'm sliding from the second to the third fret. That same kind of thing once again. Really getting into the sound of the slide. Um, I can be a little flat on purpose, so that's what Muddy does as well. Everything is not perfectly in tune, and that's the beauty of it. So, now, so we start from the top. Okay, 
high. So now we're getting to that four chord. So we do. We're going to slide from the fifth on the fifth string. That same move again. So I'm going from two to kind of four in between three and a half to the open D string. Now instead of doing a full four, he just plays the fourth string on the fifth fret. And I'm sliding into it with vibrato. That's the cool stuff right there. So, so I'm doing I'm sliding on that same string, the fourth string. From basically two to three and a quarter. And now again on the fifth string, same idea. Open G. Open fifth string. So fingering wise. But you notice that that doesn't sound as cool? Because you get those in between notes. Now, here. Now, he purposely goes flat. Instead of doing. He's kind of getting a little shy of three. Right? Kind of dirty sounding and really bluesy. So. So we're seeing a lot of the same moves, but it's it's about how you play them and getting in those in between notes. So fifth fret, fifth string, excuse me. That same lick. So I'm sliding on that one to get that four chord again. So I'm sliding from two to three on the fifth string, and sliding up to the fifth fret on the fourth string. Okay. Now my five chord. Now, that same move we did before, two to three to the open fourth string. On the fifth, right? Fifth string, second fret to third fret, to the open D string. And then up to the seventh fret. And here I'm kind of climbing into that note. Right? That's great. Something that's really utilizing the slide. And then I do the same exact lick and go to the fifth fret for the four chord. So I've got and then that line again from two to three on the fourth string, two to three on the fifth string, then that line once again, that dirty kind of two to three and a sort of shy of three. There's my one, my five chord, sorry. So I'm sliding from the second fret to the third fret on the fifth string, then the open D, and then we're done. So we play it slow, the whole thing. pretty tough, it's pretty involved, it took me a long time to get it together, but completely worth it because it's a great blues classic, it gets you into really playing slide, not in the lead fashion, like a Dwayne Allman kind of way, in a rhythm guitar, a classic Chicago Delta blues kind of fashion.